a scientific picture of the world which is true to logical principles must construct a certain process by using a model based on the following basic principles. First, the process has to be of transitional nature. That is, it has to have a beginning and an end. Then the process has to have separate components as such. And finally, the process has to be the result of the sum of external influences on the very components of the process. So the world hereby is made of processes of external impact. Since everything is to be explained by means of external phenomena isolated from each other. And the fact that individual processes can and should be viewed as an internal should not confuse us in this context. It is, for example, possible to explain such an internal phenomenon as the circularity system in terms of external influence on its components, that is, according to the aforementioned scientific axioms. So regardless of whether a non-mechanical paradigm has replaced the Newtonian mechanical world, science remains, in fact, mechanical, because it simply does not know any, any other models of explanation. And representatives of the world of science, such as Thomas Kuhn, may argue that science is radically changing, that scientific paradigms replace each other in history, or that even according to Paul Feyerabend's revolutionary thesis, that science does not really have scientific grounds to claim its scientific ex exceptionalism. But with all this, science, however, in principle, has not changed because of its stable metaphysical foundation, which boils down to the fact that everything has its own mechanism, which is not inherent in something or someone as such, but simply is the sum of external influence of the constituent elements at a certain uh, selected time. And positivism and analytical philosophy are seen or has often been seen as guarantee of fundamental explainability of physical reality in the demystification of thinking. What, however, follows from a similar assumption, that is, when the field of scientific explanation expands to a universal scale, that is, when we include the totality of all the elements of the world, is that everything that happens is the result of external influence of the constituent elements. And when, as Simeon Frank remarked, any causal connection is ultimately reduced to a simple stated factual connection, like A is associated with B, if we manage to understand the basis of this connection through the discovery of intermediate links, like A is connected with B because it's connected with C, which itself is connected with B and so on, then this understanding ultimately rests on a simple statement. It is so. Um, and the very connection between one and another remains, however, uncomprehensible and unintelligible. So it is for us the expression of something actually given, some kind of structure of the being, which we are forced to humbly accept without any understanding of its inner comprehension or its transparency for our spirit. So based on the extrapolation of the scientific explanatory model in full scale, absolutely nothing would actually happen. And this, or rather the absence of something, would be when there would not be any internal power of anything. 